Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can mention multiple users at once in Microsoft Teams. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So I'm obviously in Microsoft Teams now. I'm in uh, one of my teams and one of the channels. And anytime you want to mention a user, you have to type in the at symbol. And for example, I want to type in, you know, Mary's name and I want to type in, you know, John's name. Essentially, these are the members of my team, right? And obviously now I can, you know, type in the message uh, so they will be uh, notified uh, when uh, I uh, post something. Uh, but here's the idea. Um, I want to, let's say we have, um, you know, a large team and I only have a few team members, but let's pretend there are like 30 members here. And I want to notify multiple uh, team members at once. So let's just say, for example, you know, uh, John and Mary, they are part of management uh, on my project and um, maybe five other people. And I really do not want, uh, you know, to type in, uh, you know, individual names. I just want to kind of uh, you know, address the, you know, the, the management group and maybe a finance group and so on. So uh, the way we're going to achieve this would be through the feature called tags. Uh, all you need to do is uh, navigate, and I'm here already, but we need to click on three dots, manage team. I'm here already, and you need to navigate to the tags feature. And I already have a tag defined, but let's just say I want to create a new one. So essentially, this is like a group, all right, a, a group of members and you create a tag, you uh, give it a name, let's say management, and this is where you type in uh, the name. Uh, and uh, uh, just like that, I'm going to invite John, I'm going to invite uh, Mary, and obviously, you know, you can invite others. And um, yeah, we don't need to post to general channel. Let's just say we create the tag, and here we go, here's the tag, and essentially it will contain how many, you know, people you have. Obviously, you can only, you know, kind of create, um, you know, tags for people who are uh, part of the team. And the way it works, you then navigate to, um, you know, your chat, and what you can do, you type in the at symbol, but then you type in, uh, instead of the person's name, you type in the uh, name of the tag. All right, and essentially just like that, uh, essentially I chose uh, the tag and now two people will be notified or if you have five, 10 people as part of the tag, they will be uh, you know, notified. Uh, let me show you something else. Uh, we'll actually double check right now. Uh, under settings, uh, we have a member permissions and essentially what I want to show you here uh, is the ability to, um, you know, right here at the bottom, is the ability to create tags. So uh, by default, by default, um, anyone uh, can create tags. All right. So um, I'm obviously the owner of the team, and um, I can I, cre I can create a tag, but so can the the members. All right. Uh, all the members. Now, if for whatever reason you don't want your members to create tags, uh, just remember to navigate uh, to the team settings, settings tab, all the way at the bottom. Uh, under the tags drop down, just uh, you know, uh, remember to change the default. All right, and essentially with this option, what will happen is under the tags, um, you know, screen, uh, the users will not be able to create any tags, modify or you know, remove people from the tags, add people, and so on. Uh, only team owners will be able to do so. All right. Um, so that's all I wanted to uh, share with you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. And um, thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.